Before I eat it, I will be putting a little olive oil on top and I will finish it with uh, some pepper. Ciao! I will be doing another quick and easy recipe from Southern Italy today. We are helping our son who's purchased the house and we are helping with decorating and DIY jobs. So every day we go home quite late. So easy recipes are ideal. So I'll be doing a simple pasta again and some olive oil in a pan and I'm adding some very finely chopped uh, onion. And now the hob uh, sizzling the onions for a couple of minutes until they are a little bit softer. And I'm adding some cubed pancetta or you can also use uh, some bacon, smoked or unsmoked, it doesn't really matter. Followed by some peas, I'm using petit pois, these are frozen, you can see they're still frozen, but of course you can also use fresh. Let them sizzle together for a couple of minutes and then uh, you can add uh, some hot boiling water. I will uh, add a couple of ladles to start with. Some salt and pepper. A quick stir and I will let them simmer with uh, the lid on for a good 10 minutes as I've used the petit pois and they are tender. But if you're using a normal piece, uh, anything between 15 to 20 minutes. When it comes to pasta, you can use any pasta of course, but this sort of recipe is best suited with short pasta and I'm going to be showing you what I'm using tonight. It's called Italini and uh, again it's pasta which I brought back from Sicily, here it is. And uh, you will see that uh, it's like a macaroni, I've got a macaroni here and um, yeah, in my hand. And if you look at the ditalini beside the macaroni, it's almost like a half of the size of a macaroni, maybe just under half. So I'll be using this tonight and uh, to see what it's like. <laughs> but uh, there, I'll throw the one in as well. And uh, you can use uh, clearly butterflies, you can use farfalle, you can also use macaroni or any short pasta is ideal for this sort of recipe. 10 minutes on and I am good to go with the pasta now. And I'm adding it to the peas uncooked. I'll give it a good stir and I'll let it cook it together for a good minute first. This is quite an important step because the pasta is totally dry and it will be absorbing in full all of the juices that have been released by the pancetta and by the peas and the other of course. I'll turn the temperature up and I will be adding some hot boiling water. I will be quite mean with the water, just enough to cook the pasta as I want this to be a nice creamy pasta tonight. And I'll keep it on a medium heat and I will be topping it up with a little water at a time to ensure that uh, I keep uh, a nice and creamy sauce. So the pasta is a couple of minutes from being cooked and I will be adding now a um, few leaves of mint. I'm adding them now and not at the beginning because I want them to release the flavor in full rather than uh, overcooking them. Mint is a great choice um, for freshness, but also you could use um, parsley or parsley if you prefer. And here it is, it's ready. Total cooking time for the pasta in my case was 10 minutes. And if you look, we've got a lovely cream uh, at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it, I can. There it is. Final touch is to add some Parmesan cheese. Uh, I would not add this while you're cooking the pasta, otherwise you'll be making a mess. You want the Parmesan to actually dress the pasta, otherwise it'll get stuck to the pan. And give it a good... Uh, Stay together. Absolutely wonderful. All we have left to do now is to serve it. Before I eat it, I will be putting a little olive oil on top and I will finish it with uh, some pepper. And uh, there it is, it's looking really, really nice. I'll try some. Delicious. The combination of the peas with the pancetta is absolutely spot on, but also it's very creamy, which um, gives a nice texture. Buonissima, molto molto buona. <laughs> ciao ciao, grazie and see you later. Bye.